Hello, everyone. I just want to welcome you guys to Bible Fellowship Church. We're right here in the worship center at our church here. And I've got my good friend, Pastor Bob, with me this, this uh, afternoon. And Bob, we are gearing up yep. for our 10th consecutive That's amazing. worship and prayer night. That's amazing. Yeah, I am so excited, Bob. Yeah. And in light of all the things that are happening in our world right now, I can't think of a better thing to do. Well, you know what? We're showing unity between the churches like we've never seen before. Yeah. Not in this valley. Yeah. So it's amazing. I remember back in January when I pitched this idea to you. Yeah. And we were sitting down talking about it. And you yeah. said, we'll do it in February. And we started here in January. And the very, the very first place that said, we want to come alongside what God's doing was the dwelling place. That's right. And you guys hosted in February. And we have seen just church after church after church hosting events around our valley. And it's grown each time. Oh, it's been it's incredible. It's grown in influence and it's grown in numbers. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I, and I'm so blessed. You know, I, I, I half approach every one of these with two, two thoughts, Bob. I, I say to myself, God, would you please show up? That's my question. <laughs> it's like, Lord, because if we're here and you don't yeah. show up, we're in a lot of trouble. And then right. secondly, it's, it's Lord, are people going to show up? Would you bring the people out, God? You know, and so, uh, but man, he has answered that prayer every single time. Bob. And you know what's been interesting in that Christmas? We've seen a flavor of worship, different styles of worship, same passion, same desire, same goal, same influence, just different ways. Yeah. What oh. an incredible event. Well, and I think that's what the body of Christ is supposed yeah. to look like. Yeah. I really feel like, I've been saying this recently, like it's, it's sort of a little taste of heaven. Yeah. Well, I, I've been saying to my congregation, it's kind of like uh, Joseph Cote and Oh, A little yes. bit of flavor, a little oh, bit of this, yes. a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we're not going to be hanging denominational banners in heaven. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's, Hallelujah. Just, <laughs> it's just one body and one, yeah. one church. And yeah. we Amen. come together to worship Jesus as one church. That's it. I'm excited about this upcoming event. Right. You know, it's the last of the year. Right. And uh, we've been praying together as pastors where God's going to lead us into the next year. That's right. And um, we're excited about yeah. that. And well, and I think the gathering that we have every Wednesday with pastors, in and out, coming out, and we're ministering to one another. And it's not, it's not a, a Bible study. It's a time of prayer and sharing and relationship. That's powerful. Yes. I mean, pastors coming together, putting everything aside and relating to one another. Yes. Oh, and Good God... Stuff. Well, and God is unifying His church, Bob. Mm -hmm. And people are noticing this all over the place. There's something unique happening in yep. them in San Jacinto Valley. Yep. It's really special. Anyways, we want to welcome you guys again here to BFC and invite you out on October 22nd, 6 p.m., right here at the church. We're going to be on the front lawn. Remember to bring a lawn chair and be prepared to enter into the presence of God and worship as one church in one body. Thanks for joining me today, Bob. Glad to be here. Looking forward to it. All right. <laughs>